Okay, so the final thing that we want to do is to add a main menu or a graphic user interface in to control our database. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to choose a form design. Now my form is completely empty. So it's up to me what it's going to look like, how big it is, what color it's going to be and so on. But it has to do a few things. So I'm going to put a label on it first of all. And I'm going to call it my main menu. And all of these things, as I've done before, I can format them all and make them look good, make them bigger and all sorts of stuff to make this look as it should do. I'm just going to do a very quick job to show you what I mean. Okay, I'm going to chuck in a few buttons now so I'm going to go for a button again pull my button out somewhere here and this time what I want it to do the first thing I want it to do is to open a form so I go to form operations I want to open a form I want to choose my form there's my students form click next I want it to open and show all of the records that's correct and this time I'll use a text one and I'll say um, I'll just call it students and say next what am I doing? I'm opening my student form. Just give it some sort of code that makes it sound realistic. If I want to make that bigger, I can make that bigger. Now I can size these perfectly later on. I can come back and I can edit the text and stuff on here in the same way as I've done before. So I can make that text a bit bigger on the button. And I can, if I wanted to change the text color, I can do to make it stand out. Okay, so there's one button. I'm going to do the same thing again. Go back to design, open a button, and I'll drag it out somewhere else. I can make these buttons the same size later on. This time I'm going to do a report operation. I'm going to open a report. And I've only got one report, my house one, so that'll be the one. I'm going to call this house report. I'm going to give that a button. So open house report hit finish. Same thing, I'm going to make this roughly the same size. I can't remember what size that font was, so I'll go back and have a look. That was size 18, so I'll make this one the same, size 18 font. I can make these buttons exactly the same size. I can go for both of them, and I can say arrange and make them all to the tallest and all to the widest. So those buttons are exactly the same size. I can align them to the top Okay, if I'm not happy with where they're positioned, I can always nudge them in using, and I can even use these grids to help me. So if I make this button here go from that grid to this grid, that's nice and neat. Then I know I've got two overlap on each one, that's pretty central. I'm going to save this. I'm going to call this one Main Menu. Okay, and I'm going to test it. I'm going to go back into my view, click on it. That's what my main menu looks like. If I click on students, it opens up my students form. I'll close that. If I click on house report, it opens my report. Who am I looking for? I'm looking for ward. There's my report with all the people who are in ward house. Okay, there's maybe a few things that can be added to this. I'll go back into design view. And I can add other buttons. In fact, what I'll do is I'm going to open up my I'm going to open up my other form, my students form, go into design view on here, and I'm going to add another button to this one, and this one's going to be a close form button, so I'm going to put my thing in here, it's a form operation, closes the form, click next, it can say close, and I'll say close student form, just to know what it is, hit finish, this button down the bottom with the other buttons maybe I'll make this one a bit bigger and I'll change the font so it stands out I'll make this one red and maybe I'll bold it as well so I know what I'm doing okay hit save I'm gonna go back into my ordinary view so now I've got a close button what happens when I click that it closes my form down so the last thing I want to do is I want to set this up by going to file and options and I'm going to choose in current uh, current database. I want it to 
see this one here, display form. I'm going to change that to main menu. So every time this database opens, it opens with my main menu. So I'm going to close this. It's going to say I've got to close my database. So I'm going to close my database. Okay, now you can't see anything going on. I'm going to open my database again. And you see when I've opened the database, it opens immediately into my main menu. Okay, that's all you need to know for making your own database.